Uh, okay, so for a shot like this, uh, I used uh, both flat 2D, you know, Im photographs or uh, images and uh, 3D uh, graphics that I created in uh, Maya uh, 2012. So here, when you look at my uh, comp in After Effects, uh, here's just a sky. So again, just a flat image of a sky that you can take yourself or find online. Um, then I have flat images here of uh, of some buildings. Uh, just a tower, and then here's another tower. Since we're only looking up, uh, and then I start adding in uh, 3D elements. So first things I, I added was this uh, footage here of a flag. So this is something I created in, in 3D. Is rendered this flag, and then you know this way I just put it into the comp. So here's this uh, 3D flag that I created in, in Maya uh, uh, 2012. Uh, very simple, just you can load in a simple class and do a, like a simulation on it. Uh, and uh, just render this, it's a 2D sequence. Uh, and then when you look at the final, when you look at the actual scene, and you just add that flag in there and again make it a 3D layer and I position it so it looks like it's on top of the, the tower there and then I copied it two more times and I uh, added it up here uh, you know just to kind of liven up those those 2D images that are there and make them look a little bit more 3D um, then what I ended up doing is I end up adding this uh, here uh, gu gu guillotine that I created uh, this is done in uh, this is all created, you know, in 3D uh, in Maya uh, 2012, and uh, and to create something like this, uh, it's it's again, it's pretty simple. It's a simple model, just boxes with some textures on it. So so here, uh, once you start up Maya uh, 2012, uh, just create a simple box. So go to your polygon tool, your box. Um, you know, create a one box like that. Uh, you can scale it up some more. Then you can create a just duplicate it. Duplicate. Create another box here. Uh, then create one more box up here. Just you know, just basically taking these simple shapes to create your 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 guillotine and uh, you know. I'm not going to show you guys how to model this whole thing because there's a there's a ton of tutorials both on YouTube and on other websites where you can learn how to model and texture things in, in Maya. But uh, this is basically the idea. So you'll end up with something like this. Uh, you know, here's a model of the of the guillotine. Then I, I created again a simple cylinder, turned that into a basket, and uh, and then just use again photographs of like old wood and of like a you know a basket kind of texture, and apply those to get this sort of a looking scene. Uh, then once you have that, then you can animate the guillotine falling. So here's a uh, animation. And I just again created a simple loc locator that you can use to sort of control the guillotine. You can really move it, uh, whatever you want to move it. Um, so here is a, here's a finished animation, and then I created a camera here that you can see that moves again from right to left. And uh, here's how it looks from the camera's point of view. And here, and once you have a scene like that, just render it then bring it into After Effects in After Effects you can again adjust its brightness and all, all those elements and um, here's how it looks with the guillotine here in, in place then and then you can start putting in all the live action footage you, you, you have of your actors so here's what, here first we'll put Joe's head here here, then his shadow. Uh, you can just sort of place it in, in the right spot. Then I place a shot up here of me in the background, just waiting, waiting to get my head cut off. Uh, and uh, 
and then once you have that then you can start putting in the other video clips of, uh, of the other uh, actors that you have so this is actually me again that I filmed Daystorm and then uh, at the end here there's some more shots of, uh, of Joe and then me again on the other side sort of screaming and, uh, and that's your finished scene I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, once again, my name is Tom Antos. Uh, you can check out my my channel, uh, Tom Antos Films, where I, I have all a bunch of other filmmaking tutorials. Anything from, you know, how to use your camera, just basics, you know, uh, how to get achieve nice depth of field, to camera angles, framing, that kind of stuff. And and as always, uh, subscribe and then rate and uh, and and favorite this video to since it helps me a lot uh, and, and helps the videos uh, you know come out on searches so that other people can see the videos and uh, and also find out uh, about my channel and if you want to see my actual work and for example like this finished video that I've used as an example in this tutorial then go to my main channel which is Polkan99 uh, thank you see you next time